happens. So check this out. My buddy lent me. It's a Bushnell North Star telescope. Anyways, I don't know. Pretty cool. Uh, I was looking at the moon with it. Pretty cool. It'll help. I don't know if I can use it for a flat earth proof or not, though. I don't know if I'll be able to get a camera up to that viewfinder there. And um, But I'm going to try. You know I'm going to try. But, uh, so, I was thinking about a few things. And one thing I'd like to talk about is the the aliens. The whole alien agenda or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I really wanted to believe in aliens. I really, really did. I mean, I probably read up about aliens and UFOs and all that just as much as anybody else who is interested in um, those kind of things. But what bothered me about it... Um, and you know, you know, I was a faithful. Well, actually, I, mean, I was gonna say I was a faithful alien guy right up until the flat Earth. But that's not even that's not even true either, because I used to watch that ancient alien show. And you know, once you watch watch the first two three seasons, it's the same show. It's always the same thing, you know. And basically, what that show does is it takes away from ancient people it just takes away like you know uh humans couldn't have done it it had to have been aliens you know i don't want to say it was aliens but it was aliens i don't like that i don't like i just don't think it's that mysterious and uh i believe it was machu picchu one of those mountaintop uh mountaintop societies where there's just this amazing amazing stonework uh, cut all into the side of the mountain, and the side of the mountain is, is set up like steps, uh, and, and along those steps was their uh, irrigation farming. Um, all the water comes from just this one little stream way up above. They were able to redirect it to come right down into the center of the city, and, uh, you know, Machu Picchu is another one. It was aliens. It was aliens. Well, they don't show you. They don't, they don't walk around and actually show you the rest of the place. See, because a lot of these places, uh, they were always a work in progress. They weren't, they weren't necessarily finished, you know? Um, so there was a, I don't know, an archeologist, a forensic archeologist, whatever. Um, he will take you around that site and he'll show you, he'll say, okay, see this, this is finished. Here's, here's one that's not quite finished yet. And this is how they did it. And he'll show you the various stages in, uh, yeah, it was humans. It was humans with rocks and the will, the will to do it. Rocks and, you know, whatever, whatever tools they used. Um, you know, the, the, the winch and the, uh, the tripod system, that's, that's old. That's something that's very old, you know? I mean, it's just, it's just not as mysterious as a, an answer as we want to think, you know? So with the alien agenda type thing, um, there's a couple things about it. Now, I'm not saying that they're not necessarily real. Um, I just don't think that they're such a, uh, like, necessarily, like, a physical, like, being. And the only reason I, I think that is because one of the common, you know, not all, but one of the common threads of that story is people are usually in bed. You know, they're usually, they're in bed a lot of times when these abductions supposedly happen. Um, I just wonder if there's, if it's a little more consciousness based, mental based type thing where you're in some sort of a trance like state and maybe you see a higher intelligence, but it just gets completely misinterpreted. Uh, cause I do pr believe that we produce a little bit of DMT in our sleep. Maybe when we dream, um, I think that the DMT chemical that gets produced by the brain and that is produced in so many plants here in the world revolves around life somehow, uh, consciousness uh, going into a body. I believe that that chemical is some sort of a medium. So I just wonder if there's a little more to that story. 
it might have to do with something on that idea because people are always uh, seemingly they're in dead when they're taken and that's just strange to me uh you know and another thing is there's you know there's like there's really like less and less ufo footage that's out there that's you can't believe anything you see anymore on you know footage and besides that with all the good cameras that we have everybody's got a camera everybody's got two or three nice cameras on them uh most of the time at least one camera on you so like where's your alien i should have an alien we should all have <laughs> like you know video of an alien or somebody knows somebody with video of an alien like it's just strange to me that there's never really been any like there's just like, there's too much evidence, and then there's none at all at the same time with that, the UFO thing. So, I'm going to call bullshit on that. And, you know, knowing what I know about our world now, the only place they could come from would be possibly underground. And it's true, there could be the possibility of another, of an underground race of beings. It's very possible, anything's possible. But I just don't, uh, really don't go along with the UFO thing. And I don't like the idea of just taking credit from ancient people. Because that's where it starts. That's where it started to begin with. You know, stupid ancient people believed the world was flat. Stupid ancient people that could build pyramids within half a degree of true north. Or, you know, they were stupid though. You know, they just, they were foolish. They just didn't have the technology to know, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, even though we found evidence of boats, it just goes way back. So uh, I don't believe any of that. I just don't, just doesn't make sense. And usually what I'm finding is when it doesn't make sense, it's probably not true. Peace to all.